Three years after farm families were told to stop cutting turf under the EU Habitats Directive, the fight goes on in rural Ireland. To date, only about 24% of turf-cutting families have accepted the government's offer of compensation. In North Galway, Michael Fitzmaurice and his neighbours say they are all determined to hold onto their right to cut turf. The chairman of the Irish Turf Cutters and Contractors Association says they have no interest in the €1,500 Euro a year offer. And the association is now warning it may stand candidates in future elections. Well, first of all, we, uh, in, we have proved and we've said we'd cut our turf last year or this year and we cut it. We said it, we cut it last year and we cut it. That will just show you straight up that we're not afraid to take on the so-called uh, powers that be um, because we will stand up for our rights. Rural Ireland is being decimated at the moment. It's been torn apart with rules and regulations made up by people that don't understand what it is to live in rural Ireland. I don't go to Spain and tell someone how to live their life there. Why should someone in Spain vote on how I use my bog? The government cannot continue with this charade. But if they do, and if they persist in the way they're going with the bullying and intimidation, there is no doubt that turf cutters in rural Ireland, and people say, oh, Michael, is it Roscommon or is it Galway? No, it's not. There is bogs in all parts of Ireland. We're not parish punks. We will take them on throughout the country. And, let, and we will, they have come into our turf, so we have no problem in going into theirs and taking them on, and let's see what the people will say.